Before we start today's video, I wanted to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, MuttPacks.com. You can click the link down below and open exciting packs, win tons of coins, and withdraw your account right away. You could use promo code CHU for 15% off. Lastly, when you sign up down below, you can get a free 10,000 coin pack as well. All right, boys, so in today's video, we have a top 10 for you guys right here. It is going to be the running back position. I want to get some of these updated before Blitz comes out because obviously a lot of people are going to be spending a lot of their coins, so they want to know which cards to upgrade. And running back is a very loaded position in the game right now. Most offenses, you only have one running back on the field, so it is a tough decision, and this, hopefully this top 10 list can help you make that decision. And I hope you guys can smash that like button, hit that sub button if you guys enjoy the videos, of course. And let's get right into number 10. So at number 10, we do have Edger and James right here. And Edger and James has been one of my favorite running backs in the game. And a lot of people, even from my Twitch chat, tell me that they absolutely love this card. I still think he is really, really insane. And once he, I feel like endgame, this card's going to be one of the better cards in the game. He feels really good out there. The build's really good. He's just kind of falling down in speed. He is actually the only 91 speed player and below on this list. So... Yes, he is the slowest player on the list. Obviously, that has to count for something. He does have Insane Excel at 94 right there. His carrying is really good. We would have loved to see that above 90, but still really solid right there. He has good catching. The change direction is a little iffy, but he always felt really good out there, like I said. And then when you come down here, he always... The, the route running is insane. 87 short route running, 81 medium route running. Edge is one of those cards where I felt like... He, he lasted a while on teams, like a very, very long time. I still see him out there as well. He's a, he's a cheaper option. Definitely not top five where he used to be and live up in the, the top 10 ratings, but still a really good running back. At number nine, we have MJD, Maurice Jones-Drew. And this is one that I was really excited to try out again. And I, I was a little disappointed with him. Obviously, he is 5'7", 210. His player model in-game isn't as big as he looked in real life. So he's not really falling forward as much as he would have in real life. But still a card that you could play with no matter what because of the 91 break tackle. He has insane change of direction on him. He also has really good carrying too, or catching too, my fault. He has 80 catching on his card, which he came out on the same release as Alvin Kamara. And we all know Kyle Kamara is kind of receiving back. He had minus one catching on Kamara. That's how good this card is right now in the catching game. He has 89 carrying as well, which is okay it's nothing insane but definitely okay right like i said 90 would have been kind of the thing we're looking for here and then 92 speed so we're getting a plus one right there from edge marie jones drew is one like i said really low to the ground i kind of like the smaller running backs in a way because they fit through the offensive line a lot better they bounce through the holes and get to the second level a lot more than the bigger guys do and that's why i'm liking a guy like barry sanders and cj2k in this game because they get through the hole and mjd is another one of those smaller guys so at number eight we're including the new fullback jim taylor he does get a running back secondary so i felt like i had to include him on this list i didn't want to include him too far because if you have played with his campus hero you know he has one of the smallest character builds in the game like i'm talking he looks absolutely tiny like tiny 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 he doesn't even look like he weighs 215 it looks like 185 soaking wet out there but 92 speed on him is nuts obviously these are the fullback stats right here he has 80 catching which is really really good for a fullback slash running back he has 90 carrying too which is nuts for us but when we come down here he has 95 break tackle you can see there in the bottom left and then when we come up here he has 96 trucking so yes, really good trucking stats, really good break tackle stats. This is a car that comes with really, really solid route running too. It's 77 short. That should be good enough for out routes and like any sort of running back route, honestly, for you right there. The change of direction isn't insane at 87, but another guy with really high trucking and break tackle. You're probably going to be running north and south. And he's another smaller guy. Like I told you, he's this kind of a weird card. A small, a smaller running back with really good trucking stats. He's going to get through the hole a lot for you. He'll probably truck a lot of the DBs in the second level. I think this card's going to be really good. I'm going to give him a go once uh, Blitz comes out. Number seven, we do have Shady McCoy. And Shady McCoy is one that another card I was a little bit disappointed in because you guys know he he was one of the best jukers we've ever seen in real life right he they gave him kind of that slow like where your leg wraps around your uh your other leg kind of juke animation so it's a really clunky one if timed right it, it could be really good but it's nowhere near like the walter payton juke move jerry rice even got the really really good juke move in the game but shady mccoy still really good statted card he has 92 speed 91 excel really good agility on him too the change of direction is the highest we've seen yet on this list at 93 the break tackle is good not much of a trucker there but you're also getting really good catching at 82 right there. Another thing I'm not the biggest fan of is the 87 carrying. But still, this card, despite not having the best shoot move, if you want to swerve with this card, he has really good catch stats as well. I think solid route running too. 87 short running, 80 medium. 
He's a good card, boys. He's a good card. I just wish they gave him the good juke. So at number six, we do have Joe Main Mixon right here. 92 speed on him, 93 excel. We all know and got to use Joe Mixon early in the year. He had the 89 card. I can't... I can't remember the is this superstar right i can't remember the name of the promo for some reason i don't know why i'm blanking right now but 93 carrying on this card is insane 93 carrying if joe mixon fumbles for you that i don't know yeah I, I have no clue you're just the unluckiest player in the world he doesn't have the 80 catching we're looking for but 74 is still really solid for a running back and then when you look at him he is one of the more balanced running backs you'll see in the game 90 change of direction 91 trucking 93 break tackle he is really solidly sized six foot one almost 220 pounds right there joe mixon is one where we all know he's not gonna bring like the insane plays but like, like i told you an, an absolutely crazy balanced running back he could do anything for out uh for you out there he'll fall forward most times as well being a pretty solid sized running back joe mixon is one i love that is 89 overall i got to try this card out for a little bit and he's just as good this is a really good card so at number five we do have emmett smith and emmett smith is one of my most underrated running backs in the game i absolutely love this card when he first came out he was really expensive if you guys remember 92 speed on him i remember every Everybody always questioned the excel we kind of got to use him for a while and i was always kind of scared of the excel kind of being like a negative factor for him as well but i didn't notice it too bad out there the card still played really good he had 94 agility on him as well the catching believe it or not emmett smith on this list has the highest catching out of everybody 85 catching is insane he's kind of like joe mixon where he has really good stats all around as well so 90 change direction 91 trucking and a 93 uh break tackle right there the carrying we would have loved to see above 90 right there he is losing five from joe mixon but I think I would rather have those catching stats up at 85. That's the, one of the highest catching stats in the game right now, running back. And yeah, really solid route runner too. 83 short running. Emmett's a really good card. I really do enjoy this card out there. So at number four, we do have CMC. Christian McCaffrey's actually a really, really solid card. He always plays really good in Madden. He has 92 speed, 94 excel, and 94 agility. So having 92 speed and insane excel and agility stats, this card already looks a lot better than a lot of the cards you got on this list from just those stats right there. He does have really good carrying too at 91, and then you'll see the catching obviously 85 catching just like our guy emmett smith you'll notice the 62 trucking trucking only matters if you are trying to truck yourself the one that matters the most that you're going to just genuinely break tackles with is obviously the break tackle stat that one's the one that matters with cmc you're not going to be trying to truck people anyways you're going to be juking you're going to be swerving even maybe throw a spin or two in there although they nerfed them this year but when you come down here as well cmc has insane route running to 82 and 77 they also if you guys do not know CMC also does get the good juke move. So this is a card that comes with good animations, really good physical stats at 92 speed and really good excel and agility, really good catching, route running, change of direction. CMC is a really good card in this game. Definitely a top five running back right now. All right, boys. So at number three, we do have Nick Chubb. And Nick Chubb is one that I have absolutely loved so far. Absolutely loved. This is the first good Nick Chubb card I think I have ever seen in Madden. I am a Browns fan. So this is the first like top end Nick Chubb at card ever. Literally ever. 92 speed on him, which is nuts for him. Considerably, he'd probably be 89 speed in past Maddens at this overall. But 94 Excel is amazing. The agility above 92. He has really good carrying right here. He also does have 70 catching, which you might be thinking, does he drop? any balls i've used this card now for two full days he does not he has not dropped a single pass yet the 88 change direction is okay but the 93 trucking and 94 break tackles nuts and that's not even the good part about this card i don't think it'll show you here but his yeah we'll show you here his discounted abilities he does get zero ap goal line back so this is a card that's very valuable say if you have a lot of coins as well and you still want to have one of the number one or number two running backs in the game you could even just sub nick chubb in inside the five yard line and punch it right in because that ability is actually really good i probably have like 10 plus rushing touchdowns with nick chubb already when i don't run the ball at all that's how good this card is inside the five yard line and then he also gets one ap bruiser too so you're for for two for literally one ap you're getting two really good abilities bruiser and goal line back I like Nick Chubb a lot in this game. I think that ability is really, really underrated. It can score you a lot of uh, red zone touchdowns, which a lot of us struggle in. And he's been an absolute bailout down there. I think this card is really good. And he's also like a rental. He's really cheap right now for an LTD. I would go give him a go, boys. So at number two, we do have Chris Johnson, CJ2K. And I know I might take a little bit flack on him not being over our number one. I think it's like insanely close. And like, I'm talking insanely close for me. I don't, I think you can go either way. I don't think it's a big deal if you 
you want to put Barry at number two and put CJ2K at number one. But when you look at CJ2K, 93 speed, I think we all agree that he probably should have been the fastest card in the game or tied at least with Dion, right? At a 93 overall, CJ2K should have a 94 overall like speed, right? He should be the fastest running back in the game. That's how he always has been. 96 Excel on him, though, is insane. You feel it out there. If you watch the gameplay, I took a stretch where I literally ran backwards and beat everybody around the corner with this card because of how fast he is. The carrying, though, is really scary. He is the lowest carrying on this list. That is a reason. That's a big reason why I like Barry just a tiny bit more as well. I think Barry's is considerably low, and Barry still has like a plus three on CJ2K, which is insane. But he also does have good catching, really good change of direction as well. And also, I think he has solid abilities too. If you look over, uh, it won't show us, of course. I can't remember which one he gets. I think it's Human Joystick for Chief, and I think it's like a Juke. Ah, evasive maybe. I don't remember. It's solid abilities though. I really do like CJ2K. Solid card, just you gotta be careful with that carry. And at number one, I still think Barry Sanders is number one for me. If you guys do not know, Barry Sanders was absolutely terrible last year. They literally killed his animations. The spin move was OP last year and he couldn't spin. He had the little tiny, the like the tiny player juke that he barely could juke over left and right. And this year, Barry feels insane. He has 93 speed on him. The Excel you'll notice is five minus from CJ2K, but it does not feel that way at all. If you've used this card, this card feels insane out there. The 94 agility probably helps with that as well. The carrying as well also, like I said, a plus three on CJ2K, which they're both below 90, which we would have loved to see above 90, but 85 is like absurdly low, like absolutely absurdly low. But when you look at him, he's also 95 change of direction. So you could kind of stop inside the holes, get through, make a big burst with that 94 agility. The Excel, like I said, feels a lot better than 91 out there. And then the break tackle at 94 is insane as well. I really do like this card out there. I feel like Barry has absolutely bailed me out so many times. I did start off rough with him. I think my first game ever with him, I fumbled. But after that, he's been an absolute insane player. I like this card a lot in the game. Definitely a really good card right now. And, and I'm talking an absolute bailout at running back. All right, boys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to comment down below which running back you are using i right now i'm using nick chubb obviously a biased little browns fan right here but i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope to see you guys in the next one make sure to smash the like button hit the sub button you guys know the deal and i'll see you guys then peace out boys